What's up guys, I am at SHOT Show. Hopefully you guys saw my video of this booth last year. I'm at the Double Star booth, by the way. And I was stopped by Rob here, and he had some awesome blades, but you know what? Last year we had an uh, awesome booth visit. Let's go ahead and uh, do another one. Introduce yourself to the world and tell What's us what you got. What's going on? Rob Cabrera, Director of Edge Weapons here at Double Star Corporation. What's happening? All right, so what's new? What's hot? What's hot? Well, I guess we're going to just go ahead and kick off with the with the bell of the ball for this year, man. I'm telling you, this bottle opener has had everybody freaking out, man. <laughs> this is our noogie. Um, you know, noogie. Yeah, man. It's the noogie, you, you know. Uh, milled aluminum billet not extruded um just a real solid bottle opener nice we left a little bit of ergonomics so that you can hand brew out and your you know soda whatever uh but it's just a very solid build i mean you can get creative with it you can carry them here oh, nice. you Let's can yeah this well this is uh i made this personally this is mine mm -hmm. You know, but we're actually thinking about making some more of these. We'll see what happens. But uh, also, you know, man, you can wear it as a necker if you wanted to. So you can have it right there at the family gatherings or whatnot. You know, you can crimp pies with it. Nice. You know, so yeah, I'm just saying, it's been hot, man. The people like the noogie. That's all I got to say. You, they, they did it for the noogie. You know? <laughs> they did it for the noogie. Um, that's pretty hot. It comes in two colors. You know, it's got the black. Nice. And then we've also got a, a gray type 2 anodized as well. Oh, nice. You know, a very solid build, man. Price point, MSRP is 39 bucks. This is perfect for the guy that works in the the beer bottle industry. Yeah, you're popping man. a lot of bottles. You're yeah, gonna you're need popping some. a lot of bottles, yeah. You need this. Yep. Vegas. This it's, guy's popping exactly, bottles exactly. here a lot. Hey, all you bartenders out there, you need this. Yes. Got to have it. Very cool. What else we got? All right. For those of you who don't know, for about seven years now, I've been producing this karambit at a uh, custom. So new for this year, the Halcon which in Spanish means bird of prey. Uh, we went ahead and we started mass producing this baby, man. That is sweet. And this is super wicked. sexy, brother. I mean, can you feel that? Can yeah, you feel no, that? Hey, over here. Yeah, get a hold of that. That's a sharp one. I mean, talk about feel that. Talk about force multiplier. I yes, mean, sir. You don't even have to be an expert in knife Negative. fighting. Negative. Negative. You that got three awesome. contact edges, right? So if you're up here, you know, you got your ones and your twos, man. That's what it boils down to, man. The basic motor skill stuff. And this, and this, and this little doll, she does it. We got, got we got guys in operations using this. I got some of you PD guys. You know who you are across <laughs> the nations who got these things, man. You're packing it. It's a good it's, little get off me knife, yeah. It is, man. Forward. It is. I mean, it, it just fills the bill. I mean, if you got to hang on, you can hang on. You can just get some space if you need to. All you PD guys, if you're going over here, you can carry your weak side. You know, you got your primary on this side. You've got to get somebody off of you and make some space. She's perfect for that, man. She's absolutely perfect for it. We went with a Nitro V Steel, 316 stick, uh, G10 scales, uh, texture G10, uh, stainless steel ferrules. Dude, it's just it's just sexy, man. I mean, and what we're selling this for is 256 MSRP. Dude, this is like one. I mean, this is a $400 knife. Mm -hmm. If I if you have to get this from me, custom is $400 blade. All thing I'm going to change out are the scales and the hardware. Nice. And can you talk about how you came up with this specific? Because it looks like there's a lot of geometry here. Yes. It probably has an explanation yes. behind it. Well, a lot of it's got to do with my experience in Kali and mm. the people in the Kali world that have in, who have influenced me. Uh, the biggest thing is, is when you're designing specifically for purpose, you know, I, I like this impact position here for your ones and your twos, right? Don't need to switch your footwork. Don't need to know anything about that. Secondly, when you make contact here with two of these edges, it's gonna just open everything up, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you can clear from the right from the left, you can cut in from this side, whatever you gotta do, you can make it work. You can just apply pressure with this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't doesn't even need to be something where you're striking, man. You can just apply a little bit of pressure and see if you can get the desired response. Um, you know, also you can strike with the pommel if you had to. But just it's just a fantastic blade. Very, very, very comfortable for a karamid. Not that many of them. A lot of them have really large eyes. But yeah, man, it's just, it's just you know what I like about this too, and we I think we might have mentioned this last year as well. But if you fall, you have a ring there to keep it from flying out of your hand yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. It stays absolutely. retained in your hand, even with your hand open. Yep. It doesn't fall yep. out. Yep. I like that. retention, uh, as you well know, man, you got to keep it in your hand. Mm -hmm. Retention's everything, brother. It's, it really is everything. But very it's, it's cool. just a great piece. I'm very proud of it. Uh, like I said, I'm proud of the fact that I've got guys on the thin blue line 
guys that are out in field using these things. Let's talk about the holster too for it, right? You got yeah. one as well? Yeah. Let me tell you, this is a trick in itself, man. Let me tell you, Kydex is a, is a, is a real trick, man. Um, so when I first started designing this thing, the, the trick was figuring out a way to get it to where it would holster. And the whole point is, is that you see a lot of these things where they're an up and out. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, anybody who knows anything about geometry is going to know that if I add up the distance here and the distance here, it's going to be longer than this. Mm -hmm. Right? So when you get hands on this thing, it's just it's just point to target, man. It's just point out to target. Um, nice. It's, you know, it's not, it's not going anywhere. So if you got it on your kit, you, know, you got it here, wherever mm -hmm. you're carrying it, man, it's just good to go. Point to target and go to work. How does that actually mount on your belt? Is there a yep. quick detach? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a tech lock here. Tech lock, yeah. Blade tech. And since they've gone to, to this next gen uh, tech lock, I like it because uh, it's got this nice little locking system here. But you know what? You know, whatever your poison is, I've got guys who carry these things. They make their own systems. You know, they've mm -hmm. got some of them where they'll do a. Um, They'll do an IWB setup where they've got a lanyard on an anchor. Mm -hmm. That works too. Uh, a lot of guys, I've seen some of these guys, I've seen some guys carry these thing at 90. Very cool. Yeah, it's slick, man. It's a slick build. I love it. I'm very proud of it. Nice. Very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the folders. All right. So we wanted to get into the folder market. Uh, so we looked around, did a lot of homework, did a lot of research. And we went ahead and got together with uh, V Knives, Michael Bellencamp. Uh, this is an OEM, or I'm sorry, this is a, one of his builds that we went ahead and picked up and co-branded. This is our brimstone. Um, do D2 steel. Nice. Uh, nice solid liner lock. G10 scales. We've got three different SKUs here. Dude, check this hardware out. Look at that. Tell me that's not slick. That is pretty sweet. You know, nice pocket clip. Dude, it's just a really, really clean build. You know, I mean, just just really slick. This black on satin is just hot. You kind know, of, is there bushings in there? What kind of bushings are going? These on? are uh, phosphorus washers. Okay. And I, I saw you flick that out. It's not assisted, is it? No, it's, it's not. It's just super slick. No, it's huh? just very. It's just it's just a very solid build, man. Nice. Wow, that just flies out. Nice. Dude, it's, it's a classic design. Too. Oh yeah. So, Actually, another thing I like about this grind as well, dude. This is. You know, this is not. This is actually a. a you could, you can put it in a uh, modified sheep's foot. You know, modified horns cliff maybe. And yeah, then obviously really they nice. come in different uh, finishes. And different colors. colors. The MSRP on this is 75 bucks. You're not gonna find too many D2 blades that you can pick up for oh, 75 nice. yeah, bucks. That's a good value. So last but not least, I've saved the best for last for you guys. Um, we're proud uh, to support our veterans. Uh, we're proud to support the guys who stand on the wall. Um, and I have a very close friend of mine, Darren Saroy from TCT Knives. He is a retired Delta operator. Uh, I met him a few years back, and I got to handle this knife. Uh, I've always been a huge fan of the combat utilities, you know, the uh, the K bars, the Fairburn Sykes. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed a hold of this blade. This is his Light Fighter. This is our Light Fighter X. There's very few knives that are in that echelon of the K-Bar in the way of a combat utility. Mm -hmm. And then this knife just, I mean, it absolutely fills the bill, man. Uh, good positive contact on the front for the saw machine for all those guys that are in service, you know, because that's what they teach, you know what I mean? Um, it's just a very, very comfortable blade. Uh, we made this one out of the Nitro V as well, which is a modified AEBL uh, made by Bowler Steel Company and uh, pur purchased, we purchased it from um, New Jersey Steel Baron. And oh, it's nice. just a phenomenal steel. They took that AEBL steel, shot it full of nitrogen and vanadium, and just took a good steel and made it great. Wow. And okay. this is just a phenomenal build. I mean, we're just really proud of it. You know, the, the sheathing system is just, I mean, all our, our, you know, everything came out fantastic on this build. We're just really, really happy about it. And this. it's pretty beefy. That's thick. How, how thick is that? 3 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths. It's yep. a nice thick. You're not breaking that. Yeah, man. It's just... It, it's, yeah, it's made for infield, brother. It's made for infield. We went ahead G10 scales, stainless steel ferrules as well. Um, it's just a solid, solid build, man. Simple and sexy. Yeah, yeah. stone wash finish. I mean, yeah, simple and sexy. I can't say no more. That's uh, I can't say anymore. How much are these going to go for, if guys? These want are them? right now uh, MSRP on that is two nineteen. Beautiful. Very cool. And then I know you have. The ones we saw last year, let's, let's cover these as well. The response to our presence in this market has been phenomenal. 
Um, we're pr proud to be at that same level of quality and assurance um, as some of our competitors, guys like RMJ, people like that. So we're in that market now. We've really established ourselves. Uh, but one thing that we did add this year is we got we teamed up with Valkyrie Combat, um, and now we're offering some some uh, you know some addition you know for folks who want to kind of. Uh, beef up, or not so much beef up, but you know they want to trick out their kit. Yeah, we're customize it to yeah, themselves. We're customizing yeah, yeah. some stuff. Uh, and as a matter of fact, Valkyrie's out of Vegas, right here in Vegas. Nice. Um, and again, this is we're still solid. We're running the S7. Uh, let me tell you something else. I had a guy come here uh, not long ago, and uh, you know we've worked really, really hard on our Kydex. And I just want to, and it's going to be really hard to hear this, but if we can get up close. Oh, that's that's loud. Yeah, I can hear this that. Is positive contact and it's ready to go I mean so just, it'll retain even without the straps that's right yeah nice you know one reason why we put this strap on here is because occasionally we got some guys that are jumping out of little birds mm -hmm. um, and they like to basically keep this on because you know they got what 75 pounds pack on or whatever and mm -hmm. they hit that ground man they're coming down with a lot of force yeah. but for the most part for your general operating stuff it, it's not going anywhere man it's just mm -hmm. not going anywhere and then of course we got our, you know, we got our Fury, which is most of everybody's <laughs> favorite, man. And this is what actually stopped me last year. By your, I was yeah. walking by and I saw this. Yeah. I was like, what? I got to get some info on this. Yeah. You, matter of fact, you got one here that looks like it's got a story behind yeah, it. Yeah, man. We What's uh, so going on here? we did the, uh, we did where we basically decapitated a sedan <laughs> with a wrath. So while we were there, we were yeah. chopping at the car with this. Oh, so you chopped the, the yeah, vehicle with this Yeah, we don't have the initially? original one that we chopped the car oh, up okay. with because I'm still killing it. I'm still abusing it. <laughs> yeah. But while we were shooting that video... Then you we went to town with this. Yes. <laughs> we went ahead and, you know, jamming it through the skin, chopping yeah. on the car, breaking glass with it. So we brought that one. That is sweet. And this was, again, designed by uh, designed after a famous Filipino design, right? Yes, it is. Actually, that's modeled after, after a Pinswali, which is out of the village of Sulu in the Moro region of the Philippines. If there's one thing the Filipinos know how to do is uh, oh, they know how man. to make some knives out there for chopping to the jungles I'm, and stuff. I'm a very proud practitioner of Kali. That is sweet, man. And that thing is after my own heart, man. And explain to the guys, too, because um, the video we filmed last year, uh, there was comments in there like, wow, that's, that's pricey. Explain why the price is a little bit more than just your average, you know, you know, run-of-the-mill well, machete. You know, what's going on with these things? Well, I'm not building, you know, we're not building kit for the, you know, the weekend warrior wants to spend that kind of money. That's great. We mm -hmm. want to support them, want to give them something that they can pass down to their kids. That's fine. But we're building stuff for guys that are in field, the guys that mm -hmm. are standing on the wall, that are kicking doors, taking names, you know. Mm -hmm. um, this is not your backyard machete. I can chop stuff that you're not gonna be chopping. I was also a land surveyor for 22 years. Um, I got tired of all the nonsense blades that were out there. You know, and when I say nonsense, I say that lovingly. Okay, I'd like to use another word for that, but I can't. Um, you know, like this tomahawk. You know, the echelon of tomahawks that can hold up to the rigors of war is small. That circle is small, and I'm here to tell you that there's probably a handful of us that are in that circle. I'm talking about hawks that can cut the tops off of cars, hawks that can cut up bell helicopters, mm -hmm. you know, stuff that's really gonna last, stuff that can hammer, hammer holes in concrete and live. Not something that you're gonna use once and break it. Something mm -hmm. that you can, you know, you can hammer some stuff out, throw it back in your kit, and put it back to work right after that. So that's what the difference is. That's what you're paying for. That's what you're paying for, because yes. this is the same steel that they use, S7 essentially, in jackhammer bits. In jackhammer bits. Yeah. So yeah. it, you can't. You're basically not going to be able to break this, at least not easily, anyway. I mean, everything's everything. Everything can fail everything, eventually. Everything can fail. But the point about this is, is that because of the great friends and family that we have here at Double Star, those guys who have stood on the wall, the ones who have worked, um, we're building kit for them. I'm building stuff that you guys can take to war. I want your input. I need you to tell me. And let's talk about uh, the smaller knives here as well. We saw these last year as well, right? Yeah, this is the okay. opening line. Uh, this is what we got kicked off with. We got our Fang, our Dracon, and our Motac. This actually, this piece right here was designed by Tuhan Ray Dianaldo. Uh, it is a fantastic blade, both uh, reversed and in forward grip. Very, very, very comfortable. Um, it's a sticker, obviously. Um, 1095 mil, 316 stick. Can I take a picture? Yeah. 
Then this one here we got is the Dracon. This is quarter inch thick, 1095, heat treated by Peter's Heat Treat, one of the oldest heat treaters here in the country. Uh, this blade right here will test the will of the attacker. Uh, we put a panic laceration on a pig that we have a video here. It was a 24 inch laceration that varied, varied from two and a half to three inches deep all the way across. Wow. So that's gonna test their will to fight. Once you get it in your hand, they're not getting it away from you. If you're using it for a secondary or a backup, it's gonna stay right there, you know. Nice. Work it out good. Find out. So then this one right here, this is our fang, this is our small utility, cardboard, uh, plastics, whatever. We went with a uh, chisel grind, uh, eighth inch thick, 1095, very easy to keep sharp. Um, and just for a good everyday use, we've got two stages on this sheath right there. This is just a light stage where you can get it in and out easily, right? Then you can lock it up in case you want to wear it as a neck knife. Again, we just did not add blades for a revenue stream. Mm. I am a knife guy, I'm not a gun guy. You know, it's all about me being someone who's dedicated to knives, working to build that kind of kit that satisfies the hard end user. So by all means, check us out, star15.com, uh, or you can email me, rob at star15.com if you have any questions at all. Very cool. All right guys, I hope you guys appreciated this in-depth booth interview. Rob knows a lot about knives, and he's making some absolutely fantastic stuff, man. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next see you year. Out there. Cool.